morning. Old Turkey Master here. I've been doing a lot of reloading since the ammunition got scarce. And I load quite a bit anyhow. One of my favorite rounds is the 17 Hornet. Uh, 22 Hornet case, neck down to 17 caliber. But the Hornet case is really tapered. And if you notice, they, uh, I don't know if you can see that, they blow the shoulder up. And the 17 holds a lot more powder. Uh, and it shoots a 20 grain bullet about 3,700 feet a second, somewhere in there. Well, I've been loading these uh, with 4227 uh, and little gun powder. And the problem you have with a 17 is finding a, a way to get the powder in the case. I use a Hornady lock and load press. And this is my lock and load measure, automatic measure. But it only comes with a 22 caliber bushing for the powder drop. Uh, they don't sell a 17 to my knowledge. You can get a little hand funnel. This is a little RCBS 17 caliber. Uh, I even bought a set. This is a uh, powder measure with bushing. Got these little aluminum bushings and little aluminum powder measure. This is a lineman. But again, doesn't go down to 17. Uh, I've looked for a bushing not been able to find one. So I'm so shaky it's hard for me to hold one of these little hand measures and weigh my powder and drop the charges in. But just so happens I've got this little uh, measure that goes on the press. Uh, it's set up like a die so you can put it in. It's got the standard thread. And what it does when you put a case in here and run it up there, you see it, it raises up and then you can pour your powder in there. And the benefit of it, when I'm working on target lamp rounds and just load a few rounds at a time, it holds the funnel for me. But again, it, it just went to 22 caliber. Uh, so, I decided that I'd build me some bushings. Uh, this is the bushing that came with it. It's tapered, got a little cone shaped tapering end, and it's where a 22 cartridge will just come up there and fit. And the taper so it'll center it. And then the other end, it, it, is uh, machined where the funnel will just fit right in the end of it. And then you got a little drop tube here. So uh, I decided to make me one in 17. So I got me a piece of stainless, chucked it up in my Logan lathe over there, and I turned me one out, and this is my 17 version. Uh, I copied the dimensions off of the factory version. But I don't know if you can see the end, but it's it's just got a much smaller hole, so the 17 cartridge won't go up in it. And uh, I made it just a little bit longer than the factory. The factory, when you drop it in, it fits flush. Well, I want I let this one stick up about an eighth of an inch so I could visually tell. I can just glance at it and know that I've got the 17 bushing in it. And it works just fine. And you drop your powder in there and load your round. Well, it works so good 
and uh, then I said, well, why not make me a bushing for my powder measure? This is my Hornady lock and load. I use lock and load press. It's got this big long uh, drop tube on it. And it goes down in here and then you bush it in the bottom of it. And uh, so this is the factory bushing. And I turned me out a uh, 17 bushing. I just used the same dimension just like I did on the other one, but I drilled it for a 17 caliber. And it goes up there, and your powder measure sets down on there. You hook all the linkage up, and then when you work the lever, it pushes a case up in there. I can show you with one of these. I'll go ahead and hook it back up real quick here. Put the spring on it. So, uh, you notice it raises the lever. And then that drops the powder, it comes through this long tube and down into your case. Uh, so I made me a 17 bushing and it works great. Uh, I load about four or five boxes. Never had a log jam, powder goes through there. One thing you gotta do, when you put your case in there, and you pull your lever, it drops the powder on the upstroke. And the uh, little gun powder is so light, it's kind of light and kind of fluffy. Uh, it takes probably two to three seconds for that powder to drop. It drops in a little stream and get into your case. So I always wait two to three seconds before I cycle. If you cycle real fast, you won't get all your powder in there. And the way this measure is made, if there's not a case pushing it up, it won't drop any powder. So, that's the way she works. And that's worked real well. And I just made that out of a piece of three quarter inch stainless. I turned it down to the old days original bushing. Uh, I think I drilled it with about a three eighth bit and then put my little taper in it for the case. And if you've got a friend or somebody that's got a little mini lathe or a, a machine lathe, these are real easy to make. Doesn't take that much time. but. Now I can uh, use my progressive press from a 17 and then I also got well hand wed. Uh, and it's made a big difference in my production. Another thing I want to show you is this little Steyr rifle. Uh, this is a 17 HMR. Got a burst scope on it. And it's got the uh, side focus on it and the reason I'm showing you this little gun this thing is very very accurate it is just so fun to shoot it's got a good trigger on it uh, nice little stock this gun really well thought out well engineered uh, I really like this little rifle they come in 17 HMR 22 long rifle and 22 magnum and uh, they're well worth the money if you get you one of these it's got a nice little cheap piece it's made in the European style of course these guns are made in Austria uh, 
put me a nice little strap on it. It's got a five shot magazine and it cycles, it feeds excellent. Uh, the rounds feed right in there and it really jacks them out really good. Uh, these are top notch little girls. Well, I guess for today that is all. Old Turkey Master out.